What is the movie that you guys are looking forward to seeing, or a, a imaginary sequel that you'd like to see? Just shout out anything. Deadpool. 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 <laughs> So whenever you guys are ready, ladies and gentlemen, the untitled sequel to Deadpool. Deadpool's called the Merc with the Mouth, so use your mouth more. Action. So my fucking cancer's fucking gone. <laughs> okay. So Josh is going to be giving a news report from in the field, and he's not going to have any idea of what's on the video screen behind me. I've pre-selected a couple of videos from YouTube that are going to be... Quite, quite entertaining. <laughs> so, uh, he'll have to try and guess what is on the screen behind him based on the suggestions that are uh, in News House people, uh, Rachel, Tariq, and uh, Julia, will be giving him. We now take you live to Josh. <laughs> hey, Tariq, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Oh, well, I'm... Tyler, man. I just stay dry over there? Very dry. Oh, crazy over here. Oh, oh, very crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a bit of difficulty staying dry, as you mentioned. Uh, it's, it's kind of wet out here. Okay, I've got another shirt. <laughs> um, do you feel like you feel like joining in with the with the rest of them over there? Oh, I always feel like joining in. <laughs> a news reporter's job is to stay outside and, and and you know report the news, not be the news. So I can just only watch and, and take part in the action. <laughs> I can. It is descriptive ways. Like, um, are you uh, are you familiar at all with what's going on? Like, like are are you a fan? Would you say? Yes, yes, I am. Big fan? Uh, a big fan, in fact. This is uh, a lot of people wanted to do this news report today, but uh, I'm I'm the one that uh, was the most excited. <laughs> yeah, and uh, get in on it. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Um, I, I used to do this when I was a lot younger. <laughs> I, I don't get to do as much anymore, but uh, That's fair. It's, you know, I get to report on it. Josh, do you want to take a guess what's behind you? Uh, competitive swimming? <laughs> about how sloths make love. Sloths try I assume that they've matured since it takes eight years. So then, so then what happens? Do they find another slot? Or do they wait another eight years depending on another slot because it's not legal yet? <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you asked. Because these slots do Would yes. you be willing to share with anyone at this keynote? Yes! yes. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Dr. Right. Pepper. He doesn't know what to say to this girl he likes, so he gets somebody else to feed him the lines of what he's going to say to the girl. Oh. So we're actually going to do that now, with Tariq being the person who doesn't know what to say to Josh, and you, the audience, giving him the beautiful things to say. So, Josh will ask Tariq for him to describe a part of his body, like a knee or a foot, 
or some other stuff. Booty. And <laughs> Tarif will say, my love, your blank is like a, and when he says it's like a, you guys can just yell out whatever you want, and whatever he said, whatever you say, he will have to try and make it sound romantic, <laughs> even if it's not. <laughs> so, whenever you're ready, lovebirds, take it away. Why don't you tell me about my legs? Oh, your legs, mm -hmm. your legs are like... Bolletay! Metaton! <laughs> What did you say? Ball and chain! Ball and chain. A ball and chain? <laughs> and what did you say? Metaton? Yeah, from Undertale. <laughs> I know nothing about that character. Oh. Um, ball and chain. Ball and chain. Like a ball and chain. My legs are like ball and chain? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm the ball and you're the chain. I'm attached to you. You can go home with you tonight, Tora. <laughs> <laughs> that easy, huh? <laughs> My shoulders. Your shoulders? <laughs> shoulders? Well, your shoulders are like... A BA in English. <laughs> <laughs> a BA in English. A what? A Bachelor's of Arts degree in English. <laughs> Do tell me how my shoulders are like a piece of paper that you get for basically doing nothing in school. <laughs> <laughs> because they're really nice to look at. <laughs> Do they? I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really nice to look at. <laughs> Alright, so Josh is going to be hosting a party and he's going to have to guess who his party guests are. It's going to be these three right here. One will be a character, one will be a someone with a quirk, like a jazz hands or something, and the other will be a character with a quirk. Alright, so this creator, right, you are Optimus Prime. You are. You are. Alright, let's bring Josh back in for his party. Oh, this is gonna be the greatest New Year's party I've ever thrown. I've even I've even hired a piano player. <laughs> it's gonna be the greatest New Year's party I've ever thrown. You know, it's that I, I, I rented out the Imperial Pub, got a piano player. It's, I'm, just so, I'm just so excited, so excited. Oh, someone's here already. Come on in, come on in. Sam, I'm looking for the All Star. Hey, Optimus Prime, what are you say? Huh, I 
everything ever. That could be a musical. <laughs> Bad stuff that happens on a cruise ship. Bad stuff. The ship is going down! <laughs> what do you mean there's no more shrimp? We're on the ocean! A tongue in your mouth when you kiss your aunt. How do you eat? What? <laughs> Julia. <laughs> Everybody's fucking obsessed with me. <laughs> These are my friends. <sighs> my dad's in the audience. <laughs> you know, this could be a really good music. <laughs> Alright, changing sad lyrics to sound sexual. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Every now and then I fall apart. No. <laughs> Things you can say about your Nintendo amiibos, but not your partner. <laughs> you're not. You're not. It's not rare. Oh. <laughs> Shelf next to all my other ones. Oh. <laughs> all right, uh, it's not even you guys who are writing suggestions. Like everyone else here wrote the Tyler Man one. Is half the people know you? Yeah. We love you, Tyler. I'm sorry. Tyler. <laughs> What's a Tyler Man? What's a Tyler Man? What do you mean it's a Tyler Man? Man, you wrote the John Cena joke, didn't you? No, I just saw it. Two-line vocabulary, and this one will be for myself, for Rachel, and for Josh. So, we're going to be doing a scene, but only these two can speak only two specific sentences. I can say whatever I want. So what I need from you guys, uh, for Rachel, I need a general question. Why did you kill your parents? <laughs> General question, not specific. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And uh, let's get a statement. Because I can. Why did you do that? And because I can. All right, uh, Josh. Uh, I need another question for Josh to use. What does the fox say? <laughs> what does the fox say? And um, I need an opinion for Josh. I don't yeah, like right. it. I don't like, like it. it. I don't like it. What does the fox say and I don't like it and yours was? Why did you do that? that because I can. Because I can. Alright, so what I need from the audience is a dangerous new thing you'd like to try in the new year. Not hoverboards. Skydiving. <laughs> Skydiving. 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 Alright, skydiving. So you guys can only speak those two sentences and I can say whatever I like. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to your first skydiving lesson. I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be flying up 30, that, a bunch of numbers in the air. <laughs> I like it. I mean, well, why are you here? I mean, it's going to be fun. Because I, mean, I can. Yeah, she wants to do it. She's going to do it. I don't uh, like it. You don't like her? Um, you don't like her? Like, he was pointing at you. Why did you do that? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why my name is uh, Mr. Fox. I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some uh, parachutes right over here. They're on the table. So you guys can pick whichever ones you like. I don't like it. Okay, well, those are the only two we have. It's red and blue. Just pick. You like that? There we go. Take it. Yeah, listen to what I say, okay? What does the fuck? I said you can take it. <laughs> So now the first thing you're going to practice, you're going to lay down flat like this. What does the fox say? I said you're going to lay down flat like this. I don't like okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay, well you can wait in the corner then. We're just going to work together. Why do you do that? I'm just going to you come over and stand here, okay? Because I can. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're a free woman. You do whatever you want. So I'm going to stand like this. I'm going to spread your arms Why out. Why did you do that? Okay, you need to spread out, okay? 
you're gonna do this because I told you to, okay? Because yeah. I can. Yeah, because you can or because I'm making you, all right? Now, you, uh, I want you to spread out my like I this. don't like okay. it! What, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What does the fox say? Exactly! You're gonna do what I said! Stand up like this! Now, the first lesson you're gonna practice, you're gonna jump, and I need you to jump and land on your bellies like that. Dory, this is a question for you. What does the fox say? I said jump and land on your bellies, okay? I and I'm gonna stand like this and you're gonna jump. Why did you do that? Okay, if you 